Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Jordan the Dog Walker here back with another episode. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to use Google Calendar and how to be efficient for your dog walks. So first, what you want to do is you want to create a Google Calendar account, which can be made through any other Google service. If you have a Gmail account, then you definitely have a Google Calendar. So once you open it up, what I want you to do is put all the times that you have your other job, if you do have another job, blur that out. Also, if you have any plans, put those in. Thirdly, you want to put times that you are open. So the times that you're open are the times that you can take on a potential dog walk. It's best to check the app consistently because the more you check the app, the more likely that you are to get walks. And in this business, it's best to get more walks because it just grows your connections and you might have more recurring walks, walks that ask for sitters, anything like that. So definitely create a Google Calendar account because it'll save you a bunch of time in the long run and it will also help you stay more organized and be more efficient, get more walks, get more money. Second, what I like to do is to schedule all of my dog walks on a Sunday, or at least most of them. So I have decent communication with my dog walks, whether that's with WAG or whether that's private business. So I like to set them up on a Sunday typically to kickstart my week so I know exactly when they need their walks because it changes sporadically you know it changes week by week for some people some week some people it's the same every single week it helps me a bunch when I set up walks because I know exactly how many walks I'm gonna do in a week how often I need to do them and who to communicate with and how to plan out my day number three I like to put up dog walking signs so I made my own poster I put it up on poles I put it up on mailboxes I put it up in grocery stores any place that allows it um, sandwich places, stores, literally anything that allows you to put a sign up, you should do it because it'll boost your business tremendously. I've gotten at least five clients from my dog walking poster that I put out in one week. One had asked me for a dog sitting, one person asked me to walk their dog twice a day for a week. It's like really quick and easy money if you just market yourself because if you don't tell anybody then you can't expect anybody to know about you and know about your services. Number four might be really easy, but just ask your friends and family if they need any dog walkers. Like, it can't hurt to ask people if they need one. Because most of the time, families go out of town, especially in the summer, like, especially in the winter too. Like, people always need dog walkers and dog sitters. So always ask around, never feel ashamed or shy to ask people if they need a dog walker because you are one. It just promotes your business and I'm sure they'd exact, uh, appreciate what you do for them. So definitely don't be shy in asking anybody if they need a dog walker. Like even ask strangers. <laughs> Most of the time they might give you a weird look, but hey, it brings in business and that's good. Last but not least, I would recommend bringing a portable charger anytime you go on a walk or anytime you step foot outside of your house for the day. Um, portable charger will keep your phone charged, obviously, and it's definitely necessary for wag walks especially because you need to make the report card, you need to sign into the app, pick up the walk, say that you're on the way, say when you're there, all of those things. So definitely a portable charger will keep your phone alive and you don't have to stop business just because your phone dies. Like, your phone's gonna get worked with WAG, but don't let that stop you. Don't let your battery stop you. Carry a portable charger, it'll save your life. It'll save your business. <laughs> well, anyways, those are five quick tips on how to be efficient with WAG, how to stay organized, and how to boost your numbers in WAG walks. So I hope this helped you in some way. Jordan the Dog Walker, as always, keep it positive.